Hey, South Carolina head coach Chad Holbrook is now on the line. The Gamecocks are the number four seed in the SEC tournament after going 41 and 14 overall and 17 and 12 in the SEC. South Carolina will play the winner of Mississippi State and Georgia on Wednesday. To ask a question of Coach Holbrook, press star one now. Coach, while we wait on questions, could you give us a few comments on your team during the SEC tournament? Uh, well, we're, we're excited about getting down to Hoover and participating in, in the tournament. It's always an, an incredible field and some of the best teams in college baseball, but again, obviously, is the case. And uh, Our players are trying to get healthy. We feel great about our regular season having um, you know, being being 42 and 14, and I guess uh, 18 and 12 in the league is a is a good year any any time. But considering the adversity that we've been through, and you know, with multiple starters out from time to time, well, we feel like uh, we've had a great regular season. Now it's time to uh, see if we can play in the postseason. Everybody's zero and zero right now, and uh, we're excited about getting the getting down to Hoover and playing on Wednesday night. First question is from Kyle Tucker of the Louisville Courier Journal. Hey, Coach, I just wanted to get your your impressions of what Kentucky's AJ Reed has done this season, and to do it in a league like this, where should that put him in the National Player of the Year? Oh, I, I think he's the National Player of the Year. I, I don't think there's any doubt about it. At least for me, I, I mean, that's it's crazy what he's done. Well, we the conference obviously in home runs, hitting, being a Friday night starter. I don't think anybody's come close to doing the things uh, on the field that he's done. And I'm sure he's obviously the most important player to Kentucky's team and having a year like he's had. And, uh, shoot, uh, you know, I, I worry about my team a lot more than focusing on what's going on nationwide. But when you look at the numbers and having played against A.J., uh, I, I think he's the clear-cut favorite and should be, without question, the National Player of the Year. Thank you. Next up is Ron Aiken of Gamecock Central. Hey, hi, Coach. Glad to talk to you. Just wanted to see kind of where your team was help-wise. If, uh, you know, going into Hoover, had any other plans to play Brian Schrock or if they're going to be on the shelf uh, for the for the week? Uh, we're we're going to play it by ear as we get down there. Uh, he, uh, did a little – he's doing – he's practicing today. Uh, Schrock is uh, – I'm holding him out today. He'll do some uh, work tomorrow once we get down to practice down there. So I won't know that until how they're feeling on Wednesday probably. I would love to give them – I'd love to play them. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more careful with Shrog just because he's seen some live at-bats and he's been involved, uh, you know, uh, recently here. He's not too much out of the rhythm of the game, so to speak. And Connor, I'd like to get in there some the SEC tournament if we can just so – I can give them some live at bats before the NCAA tournament. So, but I won't be able to make that decision on Wednesday based on how they're feeling. Thank you. Next is Bob Holt of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. Hey, I can play in Arkansas earlier this year. I don't know what you thought of there. There's uh, three starters in conference play uh, Kelly and Oliver and Beats. Uh, they were as good as I've seen, you know, all year, as good as any pitchers in our league. I mean, the, the, pitch, the pitching staff in our league is – or the pitchers in our league are, had an incredible year. And uh, But any time you go against Killian, Oliver, 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 I mean, you're, you're going against three Friday night guys, elite guys that uh, are as good as anybody in this league or in the country. Um, you know, they pitched extremely well against us when we were in Fayetteville, and uh, they're, they're, they're terrific. And, and you know, their pitching staff has been terrific for a long period of time. Obviously, going back to last year and years before that, but uh, those three are awfully special. Um, and you know, they kind of manhandled us a little bit while we were out there. We were lucky, to be honest with you, to sneak away with one win because their pitching was so good that weekend. So I've got nothing but great things to say about those guys. In particular, what really makes them so tough? Excuse me, say that one more time. I said, what do you think makes them really tough pitchers in particular stuff? What what things do they do? Well, they got uh, Coach, Coach Jordan is a great pitching coach. Uh, they got great arms. Um, you know, Killian, anytime you run it up there with some command and you're throwing in the mid nineties and with a good breaking ball, you 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 have a you have a chance to be uh, get a lot of hitters out and. It beats. I love his make up. He's got a little bit of a funky delivery. It makes it very difficult for the hitters to see and pick up the ball. And he also has got, you know, he's got a heart of a lion. He, he's got an incredible competitive spirit. Uh, and then Oliver is just blessed with a, you know, an incredible arm. And uh, 
and against us, he threw a great, great breaking ball, and he had command the whole game. Uh, you know, so when those guys are in the zone, uh, they're as good as anybody. I think they each are a little bit different in their own right. You know, Killian been a Friday night guy and uh, kind of has pitched incredibly well all year long. Consistent, consistent. Beats is maybe the heart and soul of the staff. You know, you look at him out there, and he, he, he's a great competitor and um, incredible competitive spirit. And then Oliver has an incredible arm. Uh, that, you know, can throw fastballs by it and we're getting the breaking ball over for a strike, it, it's, it's difficult to it's difficult to get any hits against them. So, uh, you know, they got three Friday night guys man, on their on, in their weekend rotation. It makes it very difficult to beat. Thanks. Look. Next is Ryan Wood of the Post and Courier. Hey, Chad. You, you talked last week about what no matter what happened at Vanderbilt, it wasn't going to make or break you guys as a team. Still, to end the regular season the way you did after going through so much and persevering through so much during the regular season, can you sense that that kind of gives you momentum, momentum, momentum going into the postseason? Can you sense that with you guys? Well, I, I hope it does. You know, I think our guys are feeling pretty good about themselves right now, but we also know the most important games of our season are in front of us. But, yeah, it was a great accomplishment, uh, you know, going and playing – one of, if not the most talented team in the country in their, uh, at their field and, and playing very, very well. Um, uh, you know, that uh, makes our guys feel pretty good, and I hope that creates some momentum for us as we go down as we go down to Hoover. Uh, but, it was, you know, you got to keep it in perspective, too. You're right. We didn't want it to make or break us one way or the other. Uh, it's a nice – it's a really good series win against the, an incredible team. Uh, but, you know, we, again, we don't want to – we don't want our season to be defined by a big series win at Vanderbilt. we got some other things that we want to play for. And, uh, and I'm sure Vanderbilt feels the same way. You know, it's, it's, it was a three-game season. Uh, yeah, we, we have some momentum, but the most important games for us, the player in front of us. And, and through that scope of momentum, how important do you feel that this week is as this time of year, you know, momentum kind of builds upon itself, uh, having a good showing in Hoover before getting into the NCAAs? Well, it, you know, you can look at it a number of different ways. I, I Here's how I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it as this, the games we're playing against incredible competition. Uh, you have a chance to better your resume. You have a chance to win a conference championship. Uh, and those things are enough to go down there with an incredible amount of excitement to play well. Uh, does it def- Again, does it determine uh, how you're going to do in the NCAA tournament by how you perform at Hoover? No, it, it doesn't. We, 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 we're living proof of that. And 10, I think we went 0 and, and won and the national championship. And in 11, I think we went one and two, and won the national championship. In 12, um, uh, we went one and two and played for the national championship. So yeah, we're going down there because of an incredible challenge to play the best teams in college baseball and to have a chance to win your conference championship. But uh, we're not going down there to try to position ourselves, uh, you know, for the week, the, the week to follow. Thanks, Chad. Welcome. Hey, Coach. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.